the European Commission also decided to appoint Martin Selmayr to the temporary function of Orclas advisor in the Secretariat General, where he will continue to advise President Juncker on important strategic matters as of the 1st of August. And then uh, also as the new head of its representation in Vienna, in Austria, for, uh, as of the 1st of November. Well, Martin Selmayr is not leaving the Commission. He's going to go to Austria for us, and he will represent the European Commission and uh, the future uh, Commission President in a very important member state. Uh, he has uh, uh, clearly made a valuable contribution over many years. Uh, he was in Mrs. Redding's uh, cabinet, and then he was uh, head of cabinet. He uh, uh, supported Jean-Claude Juncker right from the start in uh, preparation for this commission, and he was uh, most his important uh, advisor. He was his head of cabinet, and uh, he is uh, still a uh, Secretary General until next year. I think that the five years of the Jean-Claude Juncker Commission would be inconceivable without his contribution. Uh, I uh, would uh, see uh, the uh, balance sheet as very positive. He's going to Austria now. I think it's easy to understand uh, why he's doing that, and it's entirely correct. It was clear that uh, the president-elect uh, of uh, the uh, Commission is a German citizen, and so it was fairly obvious that the new Secretary General should not have the same nationality. He has been advising Mrs. von der Leyen, but he'll be leaving next week. And I think that most people are very grateful to him, and those people who aren't grateful to him at least have respect for him.